Richard Krauss. Set in the years following the Crusades, Season of the Witch sees Nicolas Cage go all medieval on the forces of evil and, very possibly, his credibility as an actor. Cage and Ron Hellboy Perlman play AWOL knights who fled the Crusades after being forced to slaughter women and children in the name of God. When they are apprehended and accused of being deserters, they save themselves from rotting in a plague-ridden dungeon by making a deal to transport a known witch across country where she can be tried and hopefully put an end to the Black Plague. Now, of course, even though they have the help of a colorful cast of characters, including a priest, a criminal, and a God's warrior wannabe, they have a devil of a time getting her to the sanctuary. Now, I've lost track trying to list the career phases of Nicolas Cage. There was the loose-limbed eccentricity of Wild at Heart and Raising Arizona, the method acting of Leaving Las Vegas, and extreme jazz riffing of Bad Lieutenant, Port of Call, New Orleans, among others, but his latest movie seems to indicate a new chapter. It's no secret that Cage is suffering some financial difficulties these days, but Season of the Witch, a paycheck movie if there ever was one, suggests that he's not only financially bankrupt, but artistically as well. Now, I wasn't a big fan of his larger-than-life acting in Bangkok Dangerous and Knowing, but at least he seemed to be putting some effort into his work back then. Here, he's lifeless and flat, as though simply showing up with a hairpiece intact is enough to constitute a performance. I miss the extreme Nicolas Cage, the actor who wasn't afraid to take chances, not the confounding Cage who buries his talent under a paycheck. Cage's performance is simply the cherry on top of this rancid Sunday. Director Dominic Sena, what has happened to this guy since he made California? Uh, he does his best Juve Ball impression behind the camera, junking up the story with bad buddy cop dialogue with a 1332 AD twist, like, we're going to need more holy water, and there's even worse special effects. Now, it's too early to call Season of the Witch one of the worst movies of the year, but it does raise the bar awfully high, or, well, low, I guess, depending on your point of view. Richard Krauss.